Hey guys, how's it going? I am that socially awkward gamer. You probably forgot it existed, otherwise known as Patty Jack, and today we're going to be taking a look at Panzar. This is a game that just went free to play on Steam. I believe it's been out for a little while, but I had never really heard of it. I think I've seen like maybe one trailer, and I just didn't really pay attention or I forgot about it. But then it came on the free to play list, and I was like, yeah, I'll try it out. So. I've played it for a little while, and I'm going to give you kind of the initial first impressions that I personally have for the game and things like that. So I've got a couple different characters. I've tried a couple different uh, play styles and stuff. So far, I like the Inquisitor the most. I feel that he's most suitable to my style of play. So we're just going to go into the world here. All right, so what is Panzar? Uh, I feel like I really have to stress the second... A and not call it Panzer as I really want to because that would be probably a more tank oriented game so yeah this is Panzar basically it's a class based PvP combat arena game so it's class based in a very similar way that TF2 is so you get your different classes like your um, your heavies your spies your uh, snipers your craftsmen things like that so you get the equivalent of that in this game and for instance in this on this character I'm playing as the Inquisitor who is like the spy in TF2 in some respects so basically I run around invisible on the map and cause untold mayhem and I quite enjoy it because this character is very fast and I very much like speed when I'm in competitive games I don't like playing the tank and I just feel like this is a bit more of an active character to play right now I might, I might switch over to the healer too because that looks pretty fun and there seems to be a lack of them on the servers, which is kind of annoying, so... Um, word of advice for anyone who might be doing YouTube videos and thinks like, Oh, I want to make a YouTube video of this game. It, you, ha you have to use um, open broadcasting source to do it if you have Fraps or Playclaw, to my knowledge. Apparently some Fraps users can record the game, but some a lot of them are having issues with it as well. So, I use Playclaw mostly, because I just find it's a really nice little program. I like the like the little bonus features. They give you like your GPU and CPU usage and things like that. So the game would not recognize that or Playclaw wouldn't recognize the game as a game. So I had to actually go into OBS and set it up which took a little while. But I've got it working now I think. So that's good. So if you do want to record the game, try to get open broadcasting source. It's obviously a free download and it's pretty, it's actually kind of a nifty program. So go get it. Okay, we're just going to go into a game here. So this game's actually running on the CryEngine. So I was kind of surprised by that. You don't see many... Like, I, I guess more games nowadays are using the CryEngine. But it's still kind of like a newer thing for um, a lot of... Like, I, I know Crytek has done like a lot more free-to-play games. And they're really marketing the engine for that. So it's, it's nice to see that the engine is getting a bit more use now rather than just being on Crisis <laughs> and Far Cry so that's quite nice I'm quite enjoying it I'm looking forward to Star Citizen as well which is gonna be running on the engine so that should be cool okay so we're in game now we're just gonna wait for the battle to start oh god I did not press shift I did not shift tab that I don't know what that was okay so we're in the general arena map it looks like this one we pretty easy to show you what's up What's what? The jumping is very slow. I find that very odd. So obviously we're just in the pre-battle thing, so I can't really do anything. So everyone's just completely invincible. So it is a very hack and slashy game. I will say it's a little slow, from what I can from what I can tell. I mean, this is probably one of the faster characters in the game, which is saying. Which isn't really saying much. I mean, everyone else is a little slow. It feels a little heavy, too. I'm not sure if that's intentional. But I like when you spawn, though. If you first spawn, you can kind of, like, sprint forever. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's intentionally in the game, but it's kind of neat. It's pretty cool. Okay, nope. <laughs> yeah, did not want to get hit by that sorcerer right off the bat here. So I haven't played a ton of this game, but... Okay, there's a guy in a turret here. This is where my class comes in handy in the battle. He can just blow up turrets like that and kind of send everyone running away. So yeah, it, it is very reminiscent of the spy in TF2 where your main 
job is pretty much to go find all the dwarves that are on the turrets and and stop them. Like, there's a lot of team play involved with the various classes in the game. This is a teleporter. Very TF2-like as well. And I, okay, I don't have enough power. Dang it! No! Didn't have enough power! Gonna, come on, come on, Sorcerer. Get, yeah. Come on. You're almost dead, I know you are. There we go. He, like, smacked the pole and then fell down. That's wonderful. The maps are a little bit dynamic, which is quite nice. <laughs> the entire center of the map, which you're supposed to be fighting over, will just implode sometimes, and it's quite amusing, actually. Nope. <laughs> nice, buddy. Hey ah, oh, he got me in one hit, are you kidding me? Oh, man. So, I've played this game a couple hours now, but I mostly played it on the, on the free-to-play launch day. But when I was like an hour and a half in, they closed it for maintenance, which is really stupid. I don't know why you would release a game as free to play and then put it on maintenance <laughs> on the same day. That just seems like a really like useless idea. Okay, I don't want to go over there right now. I'm just going to get rid of that. Hopefully that'll recharge. So it, it's kind of like an active MMO PvP style. It's not as, like, skill-based, as twitchy as an FPS would be, so when you feel a bit more like you're playing an arena PvP in, like, Guild Wars, I guess, but all the attacking is done yourself. You're not just kind of, like, pressing one and then watching your attack, so you do have to click it yourself. You have a light you have a light attack and a power attack, like that one. And they both do other things. They both, like, do more damage, respectively. Generally, it's good to use a power attack when you come out of Cloak as this character, I find. You do a backstab critical. There is a pretty extensive leveling up system as well, from what I can tell, which is pretty great. I like you can level up, um, like get uh, different armors and things. You unlock more abilities as you go. I'm pretty sure the game matches you up with other people in your skill level, which is very, very nice and a welcome addition. If I kill it, no, that's my own. That's a uh, friendly. I think I just walked around the entire base. Okay. So, the other classes in the game include, like, uh, dwarves that can set up turrets, and that sorcerer that can shoot fireballs at me that I greatly dislike. Looks like an ogre's looking at me. He, he decided not to come towards me. Probably a good idea, buddy. Really bad, really bad idea. So, I'm not going to the middle of the map, because, well, A, it's going to turn to lava any second, and B, this character is not good in a one-on-one -on -one fight. He just isn't. Okay. And see, these turrets can rip your forces apart, so it's always good to take them out as, whenever you can. And as the Inquisitor, it, that pretty much is your job. Oh, get, get back here! Get back here, buddy. Not in, not happy with you. He's gonna get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you can't see me anymore, mother I should I should not swear in these videos. I apologize. They're supposed to be informative. Oh, yeah. I like that, because I can get, like, one-hit sorcerers. They must be super pissed at me. This is probably the biggest troll class in a game I've seen in a while. They can just be so cheap if you know how to use them. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Barely got away from that. I'm just going to... Just gonna, just gonna run away here. I'm gonna recharge. So, you can buy health potions, which is a little weird. It's got a, um... Obviously, it's got like a free, like a store component in it, so you can like buy uh, things with like real money or buy them through like points you get in the game and stuff. And from what I can tell, it seems like it might be a little pay to win at higher levels. But obviously, since I'm not at the higher levels, I don't really have any experience with that. Gee, nice one, buddy. See, look what I can do. Looky here. Is he just gonna ignore me, really? Lol. Nice, nice one, buddy. Come on. Oh god, you have a gun. That's bad. Ha ha, you can't hit me over here, can ya? Okay. I don't know, where, where, where is he going? Oh god, that ogre is right there. No, I missed! No, 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 no! Damn it. I think the turret got me. Urgh. I'm still quite newbie at this game, I must say. So the game runs pretty well. I mean, for the for a Crytek game, it's pretty, 
I don't I don't want to say low end. I mean, it looks pretty good, especially for a free to play game. And like the, the the general aesthetics is pretty good as well, but it runs decently enough. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Didn't even have to go invisible for that. Okay, now I should go invisible. <laughs> I like it when they just kind of stand around looking for wander around looking for you. Hey buddy. Oh my god. Uh, props to that guy. He knew what he was doing. I guess he was like circling around me. Maybe if I ever play an engineer or whatever class that guy was, maybe I should try that when I've run into like fellow inquisitors and stuff. So, and the other classes include kind of like heavy guys, um, general battle tanks, which are the ogre guys you see running around. I try playing them. I don't know. It's just not my. T it's just not my type of. Uh, play style. I don't like playing tanks in games usually, and you're not on my team. That's the guy that killed me too, I think, so. Gotta go get a little payback for that. Ah, eh, eh, you can't see me, bro. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, we won? Wonderful. Hey, bro! Oh, I can't kill him now that we've won? That's disappointing. Mm, okay. From what I can tell, there isn't a server browser. You just kind of click play and you join up with people. I don't know how the game really... Uh, I got a bunch of stuff, too. Wonderful. Ooh, I leveled up. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can have multiple characters, too. You can only do uh, uh, one class per character. So you really have to be committed more so than other games like TF2. And there is kind of a crafting system, very... Similar to TF2 as well. I I, I'm, I know I keep like comparing it to Team Fortress 2, but it really is just WoW and TF2 combined, like MMO PvP and class-based TF2 style and forging and crafting and stuff. So there's an entire system for that. There's you can equip your character with different things as well. You can craft all your stuff. I haven't really delved into that yet because obviously that takes a bit more time. So maybe we'll do one more match. Let's do one more. I feel in the mood to play. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go back to Guild Wars after this though. Oh, yeah, I got Guild Wars 2 the other day. Someone goaded me into it, so I've been playing that quite a bit. But I don't know if I'll do videos on it, because until I get to PvP, there's not really any point. I mean you don't want to see me just wandering around doing like PvE events and stuff, that would be boring. Unless I can get a party together. Maybe that would be neat, I don't know. Let me know. So from what I can tell, it just kind of throws you into a random match, which is all right, because even like, I find this game in this game pings don't really matter as much either, because it's very, it's a bit slower, you know. It's not it's not a twitchy game, so if you have a bit of a higher ping, you can still generally hit what you want to hit, because you have to time your stuff in in a manner where um, you have to be like within range of them and everything. So it, it actually makes it a bit easier, which is quite useful. If it actually finds a game, it's being... I hope this isn't like as long as Dota 2 is sometimes. That would be kind of irritating. I don't know, I initially expected this game to be a bit more like a MOBA, because I didn't really see any gameplay of it or anything, but I was quite surprised. And I saw the trailers for it, it looked really cool. I don't know. There we go. Alright. So this map is a completely different style from the other one. The other one was like just a big arena. This one's a bit more of a. Eh, it's still kind of an arena, but it's a bit less like completely uh, linear. Yeah, I don't know. The jumping's a little wonky. I wonder if I can jump off the edges of stuff. Can I? I can. I can kill myself. Wonderful. Huh. <laughs> the kill line is actually all the way to the ground. That's hilarious. Like most games, you'll just die as soon as you go off the edge, but this one actually makes you fall all the way down and like waste more time. That's wonderful. I like how it just face planted in the water, too. There's another map that's in kind of a jungle. Like it's a bit more, like a way more foresty jungle, that is. And I, I quite like that one, because especially as my character, I can like hide in the bushes like very well. And this map's a little bit more open, so it doesn't all, doesn't really suit me as well. Yeah, buddy. I don't know what he's doing. He's gonna die. I wonder if I can get him. Hey. Yeah, I hit him. And when you kill people... Oh god, I'm almost dead already. Well, 
Unless he's a... Oh, no, I'm not almost dead. Oh, I was being healed. Damn it. Ah, whatever. I got skill and viz again. There should be a turret up on their side. Ah, maybe not. Well, I can take out these sorcerers at least. Shouldn't be much of a problem. So you get points in this game based on the damage you do to enemies, not just for kills. So it's, it is very team-oriented in that regard. Oh no, I'm frozen! I'm frozen! I'm frozen! Damn those sorcerers! <laughs> oh, that was my fault. I ran into a big group of them. I shouldn't have done that. I don't like this map as an Inquisitor. It's way too open. I can't just run away like I can in the other maps. Not as easily, at least. Yeah, so you it, it does really... It doesn't reward you for lone wolfing and just trying to kill enemies by yourself. You get, like, the same amount of points as you would if you were to... Okay, don't hit me, please. You get the same amount of points as if you were to be in a group and kill... And, tr and like, help kill things, which is quite honestly what you should be doing. If, especially if you're playing the objective. Oh god, there's a turret over there. We should probably take out that turret. Okay, running, running now, running now. This map is, I swear this map is just really bad for my character class. Okay, I need to go take out that turret. Let's go do that now. Yeah, hi buddy, how's it going? Just need to do that, thank you. I will be off now. See, obviously taking all those turrets can really change the tide of the battle, because they will just pin your forces back. We're kind of getting our asses kicked at the moment, so... Maybe I can just invis again. Take out those guys while they're frozen. Oh god, damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here now. I gotta watch my power attack meter. I keep forgetting to do that. Just kind of getting used to some of the gameplay mechanics. I haven't played in a couple days either, so I'm kind of like... Maybe a little rusty. Okay, it's leaving here. I know this guy can also equip a bow. Maybe I should do that and try that out. Alright. Alright, the player base seems to be pretty good in this game as well. I would assume that's because it's a new free-to-play game, so it might die off later, I don't know. Yeah! Yeah, I got him. Wonderful. See, I only got plus four for that kill. So it really does reward you more for being in a group and kind of participating in the larger battle and doing damage to enemies rather than just trying to kill them outright. But obviously, as this character, you kind of need to rely on your backstabs and everything to take out the sorcerers, take out your uh, turrets and stuff. Okay, I wonder if there's a healer around here who can heal me. There does seem to be a lack of healers in this game. See, I think there's only one on my team, which is very bad. I might make another character and try to go healer. Because it just seems to be a lot more useful. That's an enemy. I do find it sometimes hard to tell who the enemies are. They all have banners on their backs, so, like, only the enemies all have the banner. Like this guy. But, <laughs> I like how he fell. He's gonna, like, pause and fell. Nope, 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 nope. Those guys will do just tons of damage to me. I will save you, healer. No! How did he jump that high? That was a that was an amazing move by that guy. I gotta give him credit for that one. I didn't know you could do that. You learn something new every day. It kind of makes me want to play that class more. <laughs> Being able to jump. I guess that's like the equivalent of rocket jumping. Like I swear to God, this game is just takes all TF2's ideas, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all, but it it definitely has some heavy inspiration. There's another turret over there. Let's go. Have some fun with it. Was he spy checking? I guess he was spy checking. Doesn't matter. Oh, I got him too. That's good. Will my team make a comeback? Doubtful. We're, we are definitely getting our asses kicked right now. Like, there's no point in me going into that circle right there. Ow! I should have moved out of the way. Definitely should have moved. Let's go jump. Yeah, you can place, like, traps and stuff as well, which is neat. I would assume that's great for cho making choke points and defending objectives and things like that. Okay, I'm very far in enemy lines, so I don't know how well this is going to go. Ah! I missed! No, damn it! We're just going to get out of here now. I have a feeling I will die if I stay. 
Okay, so what's being set up? There's a sorcerer over there. Should I go try to take... There's two of them. That could pose a problem. Now they're kind of splitting up. Okay, let's go for it. Let's go. Let's just go for it. There we go. Come on. I want to get you. Can I get you? Yeah, there we go. Just going to get out of there now. Whew. I really want to jump like those guys now. That just seems really fun. Okay, can I help out my team over here? Yeah! Okay, I guess I got that one. Okay. wonder if we can go get these sorcerers over here. Come on, power attack! There we go, I got him. Now I'm frozen though, so that's not nice. Oh, you're on my team. Sorry. <laughs> it is very hard to tell sometimes. You're not on my team, and I'm frozen. Wonderful. Okay. Apparently going in Viz while you're frozen doesn't work, and I just slid across the screen. I will say the engine has a couple bugs sometimes. Because sometimes, like, when you jump, you're, you're very slow like that. It just kind of goes slow-mo. But sometimes you can just, like, glide across the screen and stuff. So it's a little clunky in that regard, but it gets the job done. It could use a couple updates, though, in my opinion. And we had a speed hacker banned, apparently. Huh. It's the first time I've seen that so far. Okay, would you please get that out of the middle of my screen? That would be wonderful. Oh, God, look at the big glob of them in there. My team is doing awful. I've, I've given up all hope in this match. So I'm just going to do what I can. Nope. Oh, yeah, that, that guy almost got me. Just got to get rid of this guy. Ugh. Nope, we're just going to get out of here now. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I, I kind of figured we'd lose. So one out of two. That's not that bad. It's 50-50. It's good, right? Didn't do all so well in that match, but that's not what it's about in these videos, is it? Is it? Oh god, actually, I didn't... All of our team was kind of quite close to even, actually. Their, yeah, their team destroyed us, wow. Well then. Okay, we didn't level up. Wonderful, I got some crafting materials. I need to start making some stuff, I believe. I believe I do. Right, so, so, this is Panzar. So let me just put the emphasis on the A. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. I can see myself playing this game quite a bit, actually. Maybe it might be like an on and off game for me. I, I, I might just hop in when I want to play something different. But I think between this and Guild Wars, that's kind of going to be the bulk of my playing right now. Maybe some Battlefield 4 shoved in there, too. But it, it's a fun game. Um, I'm, I wouldn't buy it, so I'm kind of happy it's free to play. <laughs> so, if you want to check it out, it's free to play on Steam. I am Patty Jack. See you guys next time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. I would be super appreciative. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because then you can see all the other awesome content I make. Like, maybe you're interested in some Sky Z, maybe some Battlefield 4 content, maybe you want to see this angry rant, or my first impression reviews. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay socially awkward. Peace out.